The following match is a PGW World Tag Team Championship title match scheduled for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. First up, the challengers at a combined weight of, I don't know, 110 pounds, the Rough Ravers, BG Sparks and Rough Bridal! Oh. Ah, what's yeah. up, BG Dub? What's up, baby? Yeah. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is my distinct pleasure to present to you the reigning PGW Tag Team Champions with a combined weight of over 420 pounds, the East Coast Barbarians, Silver Fox, and Vinny Versace! Ladies and gentlemen, Bruce Riddell right here sitting alone ringside where this PGW Championship Night of Contest is already getting underway with a bit of a surprise. Your special guest, the referee, who normally is sitting next to me side by side commentating, is none other than the fiercely heterosexual Monty Minx as he tries to take control of the action already breaking out in the center of the ring here. For goodness sakes, I will do the best I can without Monty Minx by my side as he is going to be inside the ring. Unbelievable as the East Coast Barbarians, the reigning and defending PGW champions, are going up against none other than the Rough Ravers, BJ Sparks. Hey, and Bruce. How's it going? Big night here in the PGW. Well, well, hello, GOP. My goodness, what's going on with you? You look like you're already ready to jump in the ring yourself. That's right. Just saw an empty seat. I uh, thought I'd come in and lace up my boots. Take a look and see what's going on here. Are you always ready to jump into the action or just uh, trying to model your latest uh, Bruce, physique? I am, the, I am the mold that champions are cut from here on the PGW. Speaking of mold and champions, uh, you have actually have history with the tag team as a BJ Sparks and you used to be the Stonewall Express? That's correct. We were the champions here for a long, long time until uh, I decided to move on to greener pastures and the singles arena. Greener pastures, singles arena, and leaving BJ Sparks to choose another tag team partner now has earned his way into this tag team match by actually going up against the Rainbow Warriors not once but twice to her. What a debacle that was. You know, Tristan Titus could be not sexually inappropriate in a wrestling match, Esteban Santana, someone who actually has talent, might actually be in that ring right now. Are you saying that Tristan Titus does not have the talent to be a wrestler in this ring? He's going up later on for the actual PGW Championship. I'm saying Tristan Titus needs to wrestle in the ring. That's all. Wrestle? That's all I'm saying, Bruce. You, okay, and you're not concerned about what he's doing outside the ring with Esteban? And it's just like BJ Sparks to latch himself on to a more talented... Uh, tag team partner and ride his coattails to championship matches like he did with me. So riding the coattails of the rough rider as he is right there? Yeah, the little black kid. Well, my goodness, why do you need to bring that up here? Is that really politically correct, GOP? Well, you know, I'm just wondering if the PGW has some sort of affirmative action program in place. I mean, how many super talented gay athletes got turned away from the PGW this year so that that little black kid could wrestle with PGW Sparks? I know. They, I'm sure they all had to audition and show their physiques and their techniques and uh, prove that they were worthy of being part of this legitimate federation, the PGW, as this is... A surprise already happening right here now, being that... Surprising. Vinny Versace is just clearly dominating this match. Well, the surprise is that we have a guest referee. We already have only one other tag team has ever been champion, as you were part of. And tonight, the East Correct. Coast Barbarians are going to do everything they can to maintain that title in their corner, as they are trying to choke out what apparently appears to be him choking B.J. Sparks. Business as usual, Bruce. You know how this goes. 
And I think Monty's a very skilled referee, I believe. I didn't know what he's doing in there. I don't know if Eddie's ever refereed before, for goodness sake. You say he's skilled, but you're not giving any credit to B.J. Sparks whatsoever. Well, clearly, Monty wouldn't be in the ring if he didn't have the qualifications, for God's sake. Is his qualification possibly his dad owns the PGW as a federation here? Well... <laughs> that sounds like a pretty good qualification to me, Bruce. Can you think of a better one? Well, I'm here to tell you, I don't see Monty Mix taking control of this match oh, yeah. very Silver good, Fox. as he's already allowing the Silver Fox to come in with well, this is what the Silver Fox does. fists, blows right to the brow of BJ Sparks. That's power, Bruce. That's you, power. You're, you're calling that power, do. power of yeah, the Silver, people? Silver Fox has a ground game. He's a skilled ground technician. And he has the little flying fairy down on the mat where he doesn't know what to do. My goodness, flying fairy. Ladies and gentlemen of the PGW fan base, if you're just joining us now, this is Bruce Riddell calling this match with our apparently guest announcer, GOP, Gregory Owen Peters, coming in out of nowhere Good because the uh, fiercely heterosexual Monty Mix has declared himself as the guest referee. This is the tag team champion, one of two championship matches we'll be happening here this evening. Already surprises are unfolding. But look at, the, look at well, apparently B.J. Sparks being choked out. I thought he was tapping out. Yeah, but what that, a shame. What a, what a shame. And now he's and getting And I'm really stumped. looking forward to that gay Avenger Tristan Titus match, by the way. I think that's going to be uh, one for the record books. You have a uh, special interest in both this match and that match because history could be made right here in this match if the Rough Ravers were able to defeat the East Coast Barbarians. <laughs> B.J. Sparks would be one of only, what, history making by being a part of a... Tag team prior to, and another tag team, but with two different partners. Oh, I see. Well, that's trivia. I wouldn't call that history, Bruce. Oh. I think the history would be a tag team competitor who went on to win the singles championship as well. That would be the first time in the PGW that someone has won both titles. Well, I don't and know how that, that would be history. That could be history, but I don't imagine that history could be made here this evening because it's Tristan Titus going against well, none other than the Gay Avenger. This is just business as usual. I mean... B.J. Sparks has been on the ground this whole match. Being double teamed by two men with uh, high right, leather lace boots pounding them out right here in the middle of the ring with them. And he where's tagged, Monty yeah, Mix? That was during the tag. You're thinking everything is legal here and you don't mind seeing B.J. Sparks suffer in the center of the ring as he's trying to reach out and get the fan support right now and uh, get rough well, rider into the arena. If you spent a little less time at the rave and a little more time in the ring... Might have shot here. What uh, was uh, your relationship with him as uh, far as teaching him, him, maybe being a mentor to this young wrestler? Well, BJ Sparks wouldn't be here except for me, Bruce. I mean, come on. What do you think was the uh, the best thing you ever gave him for him to be able to carry on and get another partner and now compete for the PGW Championship? Are you kidding? I got him in the ring. I showed him how to wrestle. The kid didn't know how to do anything. Not nothing. Nothing at all. You What's took him from on a, here? A, You've got two a men that are... Athlete. This is illegal. I mean, obviously, Monty should be breaking up the Rough Raiders so that one of them is in the ring. Clearly, they're breaking the rules. They're taking it to the East Coast Barbarians, having their way with each one of them separately in the opposing corners as they are looking back and forth to measure. And here they are, talking back and forth. They tag it up and then switch corners, changing oh, up the ridiculous. abuse of... This is ridiculous. There should only be two men in the ring right now, not four of them. Well, those two men right there just got uh, body slammed against each other. and Boom, they're going down. They're on the mat now. Look like they're trying to escape out of this particular ring. I think they're just taking a break. Well, look at this slow mo action right here. As the replay clearly shows, they were knocked onto the canvas, but then they are trying to pull themselves. Hey, the Rough Ravers are not having any. They're going right after them. They it's, want these titles tonight. It's one illegal move after another here. This is amazing. I think Monty is too distracted by uh, Vinny's gold lame trunks to make any uh, good calls on him. Ravers. Well, he does seem to have his eyes focused on one particular area on Mr. Vinny Versace, more so than actually trying to control the match, whether it's breaking outside the ring or in the center of the ring. But wait a minute, Rough Ryder whoa, whoa, is actually whoa. pulling him up on top. There's a three count. That's oh. it, ladies and gentlemen, right here at the PGW. We have got a new surprising new PGW champion. Unbelievable. Look at this as they oh, clearly geez, are. Now, Here's a slow-mo replay of how it all came about. Rough Ryder. I think Monty was talking to Vinny, which got him distracted. That was the three count, clear as day. Vinny Versace's back was on the mat, and they that was a pretty are fast three count. the new champions here for the tag team titles. History, or you say trivia, has been made. There's none other wrestler that has been a part of two 
Now, look at the action. Unbelievable. Well, Still. This, this is Still. the kind of champions they're going to be on their backs in, in the middle of the ring. They need to get another referee in here to control this because we've got another championship match coming up between none other than oh. Tristan Titus and the Gay Avenger. Oh, we sure do. I can't wait for that one, Bruce. <laughs> I'm not sure what your special interest in that match is, but you are standing by ringside. We appreciate you being the guest announcer. Well, it's like announcer. you said, Bruce, it's a night of surprises, and I think we're going to have a lot more surprises in store tonight. PGW fans, don't leave. Come back to us. we got another champion match coming up.